It's your boy Wits Capone. It's your boy Conscious Eye Open, aka Kevin B. Come on, back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the elders versus the youngers. Now, like, I personally wanted to do this video with Wits Capone, of course, Come on. to talk about the youngers versus the elders because it's, it's like a division going on right now. No, 100%. It's like a division, man. I feel like to myself, the elder generation don't really understand the youth and they mm -hmm. misjudge them, where realistically, we have been not taught certain things. So, like, the youth have been out here just like by themselves pretty much mm -hmm. and the parents ain't even knowing what's going on with them so it's not the type of thing where you can blame them because if you were communicating with your own children or mm -hmm. even if the the, the like in this industries was like appealing to the kids correctly and wasn't misleading with, with this over overly sexualization oh yeah there won't 100%. be no confusion mm -hmm. with the youth so you can't be surprised when you see certain things happen 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. And they judge them all the time. Are these youth allowed? The kids are just like, all they're, all they're about is this drill music. and Like, come on, bro. Do you communicate with the children? That's the mm -hmm. that's actually the answer. 100%. And I, I feel like certain like certain elderly people are bitter. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just like, let, let, let young people be young people at the end of the day. I mean, like, this is the point. If you haven't set principles morals yeah. and mm -hmm. standards mm -hmm. how can you be talking about someone's condition exactly you're not in a position to be talking about that you know exactly I mean? because at the end of the day mm -hmm. what do they say in africa it takes a village to raise a child child is the village mm -hmm. over here raising the children that's the question I, yeah. are the children raising themselves hundred we know as a fact most of the kids they spend more time on the, comp on, on the playstation on the computer on the internet mm -hmm. with instead of with their own family hella distractions hella distractions trust me so like i feel like to myself it's a misunderstanding even when it comes to like i don't know as in like a, a black person perspective yeah. of the black nation when mm -hmm. we have this division and we have the elders like some mums start to go out look what happened with the mum that left her kid in the in, in the house mm -hmm. and, oh. the, and the child ended up dying because he wanted to go to a party exactly and it turned out that she wasn't there for three days or something priorities are all over the guy so like if your mm -hmm. priorities like i said mm -hmm. and you and you have your your codes of conduct are not in order correctly 100 your children's code of, uh, code of conduct won't be in order correctly Facts. either so it's like when they blame the kids you gotta blame the adults exactly because i didn't at the end of the day yeah no one forces you to have kids you know what I'm saying? Nobody forces you. So if, if you're a woman and you open up your legs and a guy does whatever he needs to do inside you, we all know, but I'm, I'm trying to be a bit PG here, yeah? Right. And Parental guidance. It, exactly. <laughs> and then obviously you, you get pregnant now. You can't move a certain way because you let this happen. Right. Majority of the time, innit? Because obviously there could be certain circumstances like, oh, my, my man raped her or things like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, exactly. 100%. So 100%. It's a type of situation at hand where it's like we have to understand the situations that they're dealing with because mm -hmm. you don't know exactly so you have to look into that you have to look into what the kids are watching what they're listening to mm -hmm. to understand the children and for even the youth the youth have to understand the elder generation to understand what they went through it has to be fair it can't be like Hundreds. all right cool because the youth like what happens with the youth mm -hmm. we get separated from secondary school primary school divided from age from mm -hmm. year so we get split, so we don't really know how to communicate sometimes with mm -hmm. other years because they divide us. 100%, 100%. So it's like, how can you come from year six, go into year seven, year seven prepared yeah. to even deal with year eights or year nines eight. and tens? Exactly. The whole change from primary school to secondary school is very different as well. They're not really teaching you about yeah. communication skills, mm -hmm. how to deal with other people and mm -hmm. interact with other people not your age. Mm -hmm. So maturity doesn't kick in correctly. 100%. So a lot of kids are being made immature mm -hmm. because they're being separated from different ages and misled as well and misled as well 100%. so if the ages was teaching and guiding the youth because we've got parents that can do this instead of these teachers so these teachers don't really care they don't teach nothing yeah they're, they're just getting taught what to do it's like a telegram with a freaking mm -hmm. news reporter mm -hmm. and they have to read the telegram off the news it's not them that basically are telling you genuinely what 100%. they know and acquired themselves mm -hmm. it's a script given to them just like the teachers, there's a script given to the teachers, so they're they're, they're just there doing a the job. Mm -hmm. So it's primary, my opinion. I don't know no, it's facts. It's, facts. Talking, uh, sorry. it's facts. It's, it's facts. like hundred percent primary for the kids mm -hmm. to get taught by the parents. Hundred percent because that's why nowadays, yeah, and correct information yeah. and education mm -hmm. as well. Hundred percent. That's why a lot of kids nowadays are getting homeschooled. Do you know what I mean? Because homeschooling, that way you know what's going on as a parent. That way you you know what to teach. Because let's be let's be honest with ourselves, yeah. In schools nowadays, 
they cheat they are teaching the same shit they were probably teaching my mum when she was in school obviously my mum right, didn't go to so school right. here but you get the concept of what I'm but trying the, to say what, what is life mm-hmm. really science and maths mm-hmm. so if you understand science and maths you can work your way through in life because it's to do with 100%. numbers there's another video we're going to do on money and you know wait for that but that's what awesome. I'm saying to you like watch the space watch the space so the type of thing where it's like hold up wait a minute life is about money and numbers like you got to have a profession where you're skilled so you can actually inc- like when you basically go court mm-hmm. what do they get you a solicitor a solicitor yeah to, to fight your, your case for you but if you, know you had the knowledge mm-hmm. the same knowledge as a solicitor mm-hmm. you could be your own solicitor 100%. so we have to take in information so we can actually control our numbers and money and savings mm-hmm. these are things that we don't even get taught in school exactly how, how to pay the rent and bills saving and, and, saving and working money management good money management and it, this is what i'm saying to you like the parents the family members that's older, brothers and sisters and cousins, yeah. they have to be responsible for the youth that's coming up. 100%. Because if they, if they let other people outside their own circles teach them, they could be a part of someone's agenda exactly. that's not suiting the exactly. right agenda. That's very true. Very, very true. And you've got a lot of girls that's mm-hmm. being followed, like little young girls following like Cardi B, like we said this, Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion and all, all them. And you've got artists over here that's females imitating them females over there. Yeah, when really and truly should be, be yourself, you know what I mean? Be yourself. And this is what we're not teaching. Well, we can be yourself, but also understand like importance of family, oh, communication skills, very big. communicating. Like mm-hmm. an issue get, can get resolved. Just communi- communication. But it's all about mm-hmm. principles and morals. And it's like the laws of my app where we come from in Africa. Like when we talk mm-hmm. about balance and harmony, because everything in the universe, anything, everything in nature, yeah. animals, everything, the law of nature is self-preservation. So everything is in balance. Like, even if the trees weren't here, we need the trees. That's nature. You yeah. know what I mean? So if it's gone, then the planet is all messed up. Yeah, it's not functioning properly. Our atmosphere you know I mean? is messed up. 100%. So everything is all connected. Yeah. So once we see, once we teach the kids how everything's all connected, we teach them how, about humility, humbleness, and, and righteous ways, and mm-hmm. how things develop and grow on the planet. Yeah. And now their brain's sharper. Now they can see into things rather than them being blinded by an illusion. Yeah. Just hella programming and them sort of thing there. You exactly. Get and this is why I'm saying overly sexualization within the media is affecting the kids now you have young girls and young guys acting like they're adults and not in a sensible way mm-hmm, it's true kids are not being kids anymore exactly you know what i mean so the adults are setting an example through the media mm-hmm. which is distorting the youth they're not even realizing what they're doing by it's like a domino effect and default 100 percent. so like i feel like to myself man we just got to be more smart to educate our kids and just kind of see the effects of what basically is affecting their brain and causing them to think a type of way. It's not gen- It's not genuinely coming from them. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're getting programmed. 100%. But you've got to be responsible for them not getting programmed. Hundreds. You have to do that job or that um, due diligence. Even so as a young... Yeah. So like the elders versus mm-hmm. the youngers, mm-hmm. why is there division? Why is it shouldn't it el- be. You shouldn't know what be. I mean? Like, but I, f- I feel like a lot of that stems from social media, you know? You know what I mean? Because obviously, young people, we use social media. And obviously, the, el- the elderly... Um, people they, like when like they, when you mention social media around them they're just hella confused right do you know what i mean like so it's just like things like that and i feel like as well yeah but then but, but then again it depends in it because not some like not all elderly people are like that some elderly people are like they they're vibrant they want to fit into like the young crowd it, it all depends on the person itself to be right fair. and that's why mm-hmm. i myself like I mean, elderly people mostly the stereotype of elderly people. Yeah, exactly. Grumpy, miserable, alone by themselves, gonna rock about chair, life. Type of thing. But 100. elderly people are wise. But mm-hmm. when you meet elderly people that's stubborn, these are the people that are gonna cause problems. Like hundred percent and hella friction, and hella like friction, and cause mm-hmm. unnecessary arguments. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, mm-hmm. I feel like to myself, it's elderly people that's running the government. Adults are running. The olders are running the government, and how they treat the government, how they treat the people and nations and civilians. You know, the wars going on with Russia and Ukraine. I'm not even getting involved in that because yeah. I'm, like, oh, I'm, I'm black, so I ain't involved. Yeah, like, that's what I mean, yeah. mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's the type of thing where it's like, you have to be real, man. The Willie Lynch letter, what did the Willie Lynch letter say? The Willie Lynch letter said, you, turn, you put the old against the young and the young against the old. Mm-hmm. So why these young people be like, oh, these old people don't get it, you're old heads. That's mm-hmm. not respectful. It's, we not. Honest, it's not respectful, it's man. It's not. We got, like, that's what I'm saying, the youth, 
have to respect the elders and the elders have to respect the youth but you have to understand each other the it's way that level of compromise you have to like mm-hmm. learn about each other's mm-hmm. backgrounds communicate mm-hmm. you have to know each other man not mm-hmm. even just be like on some stubborn thing with your own parents it's mm-hmm. like you know what i mean like 100%. bro like there's so much things that need to get taught and installed so there's like harmony again you the know way I mean? the way i see things yeah because obviously we're still young ourselves in it but mm. i remember when um obviously i was in my teens and obviously like let's say a couple of like the man them they 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 would want to fight. As soon as they'll see elderly people, they would know what time it is. If elderly people are saying stop and just sort things out, they will stop. Whereas now, a lot of the youths nowadays they don't have that level of respect um, to when like if an elderly person wants to say ah oh, stop this da, 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 they'll probably tell the elderly person to shut up. Right. And that's where I feel like things have changed in today's it's society. The, it's, it's it's the roles. Mm-hmm. It's the roles. It's like when you see certain mothers. Yeah. Certain mothers want to go to the club. Fam, the, like I said, priorities, bro. Certain fathers want to be a, a be a gigolo. Exactly as well. It it's works like both sides. You yeah. are a, a, a organism on the planet that mm-hmm. creates another organism. Hundred percent. You create life, so you gotta protect life. Exactly. That's your responsibility. If you forget your role, you mess up life. You cause distortion in 100%. life. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? And that's co- that's causing a child to have trauma. You know what I mean? When they got when they get older, they're going to be mashed in their head, bro. And that's because of certain decisions you're making as a parent. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it's the type of thing where it's like, it goes beyond the parents. It also, oh, goes, into, oh, it goes, it also goes into society. As well, as a whole. Yeah. As a whole. Mm-hmm. So it's like, overall, you got to know your roles in society. If you forget your roles in society, you won't have a civilization. You won't have like, the wild, wild west. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what's more important? The future being bright? Or just the future looking dim and there's just like darkness and everybody's confused and wars going on and people are hating each other and all these isms. You see what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man. But if we're adults, we can regulate the stuff and actually talk rather mm-hmm. than it being like a gossip show and, oh, there's drama. Guess what happened? Breaking news. Like, nah. bro, like, are you being serious? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, people just mean be moving bare goofy out here, bro. Oh, bro, like, there's, hell, there's hella goofies out here. They even get me started with that. Hella goofies, man. Trust so me. So at the end of the day, it's like, we can put it into a summary, like, mm-hmm. if you're really mature, you'll look at the children as innocent, and you'll think to yourself, we can't pollute this. 100, polluting their minds. We can't, like, because they say, like, oh, the children are born into sin. Mm-hmm. How are you born into sin when you're innocent? Nah, 100%. Kids are born, ex- exactly. It's That's true. a belief. Mm-hmm. What we know to be a fact that, look, an organism creates another organism. Yeah. You're a reproductive steed. You're mm-hmm. about reproduction. Mm-hmm. You're about reproducing. So, like, women carry seeds in them, and you electrify, you fertilize a seed. Mm-hmm. And for nine months, and nine is an important number in science. Mm-hmm. Everything, like, you check out the number nine. I don't even know that, to be fair. Num- nine, yeah. equal. We've got a lot mm-hmm. of, like, things in nine. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's something else. It's the highest number in science. But at the end of the day, all we need to understand is, is our roles. We have to understand our roles. We need to understand... And responsibilities as people. Is that, mm-hmm. It's like, man... If you're a man, you're masculine energy. Exactly. How are you masculine energy going against your masculine, masculine like masculine energy mm-hmm. by not even protecting feminine? Yeah, that shit don't make sense. Feminine, feminine, feminine energy. Hundred percent. Because masculine energy is about protecting feminine energy, yin and yang. Mm-hmm. So like we totally forgot our roles. We get brainwashed by the media, and we get told to become like consumers. So as mu- as like elderly people, olders, adults. We gotta be t- teaching the youth something if we want a of more course, man. solid, solidified future. Hundred percent. And it's the type of thing where it's like you're not even an adult. You're allowing the government to literally manipulate but, your mind because you want to do mm-hmm. this and that, mm-hmm. but you're getting brainwashed as well. To be to be fair, all the all the kids are all, doing the, all the stuff you yeah. want to do mm-hmm. is being promoted and pushed into your yeah. face yeah. by the media, the people behind the media, mm-hmm. and you're going for it. All all the all the kids want to do like put it this way. Kids are gonna learn from learnt behavior. Do you know what I mean? So exactly. think, think of, think of it. Yeah, when you're, when you're you, and you're constantly seeing your mum or your dad constantly doing the same thing, the same thing, the same. It's like, for example, if you swear in the house and your kids are there, you keep swearing, you keep swearing, you keep swearing, you keep swearing. Eventually, they're gonna pick up them swear words and they're gonna start saying it. You know what I mean? Because it's at the end of the day, it's learnt. Learnt behavior. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right. So it's the type of thing where it's like. We gotta be more sensitive towards these children mm. because they're innocent. And if they pick up a type of behavior, it could be unlearned quick. Hundred percent. It could be unlearned quick. So mm-hmm. I guess to myself, like, yo, 
We're all children of the creator if we look at it on a bigger scale. The scale, yeah. On a deeper level. On a deeper level. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a mission of righteousness, you will do right by your own people. You won't be misleading the youth. You won't be trying to basically just like flash your money and mm -hmm. just pretty much just be a Things poser. Things that don't matter and, in life. And then you got your kids all starving in the corner. Exactly. Like, come on, man. Just, you exactly. got to be, be mature. You got to be the one that's actually a leader. A real leader will lead his, lead his people into a sense of, of, of knowing things and mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you can become wiser. So they can become wiser. So you've got a strong nation. The whole roles, bro, bro have been, been, been reversed, man. It's just sad to see. It's sad to see all of this go on, man. I feel like to myself, mm -hmm. it's not even a society, man. It's more like about a fashion show or some competition or... Yeah, nowadays I feel like that as well, especially social media. What people need to realise, yeah, social media is not real. It's all a facade. That's why, for example, me, when I see pictures and things people are posting online mm. if it's my friends and that cool i'll drop it a like here and there cool whatever but a lot of, and put it this way as well a lot of people that are liking your stuff on social media mm. they don't care about you you know what it is you know what i mean people 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 want to see people do good but you just not I mean? better than them just not better than them but this is what we're going to do yeah mm -hmm. we're going to keep it on that note this come is on. conscious eye open aka kevin b this is my brother right here come on with capone and that with capone um, we're going to leave it on that note and make you guys just ponder on that about youngers versus elders like it's like what, what, what does it really mean like you got freaking certain people that really just like dislike certain youth like look at this freaking younger they think they know yeah, it all yeah it's coming from an envious like, place like you hear the elders oh mm -hmm. they think they know it all da, 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 da. 100% I'm like bro what the hell like 100% so look just think about it and mm -hmm. then pretty much research and find mm -hmm. out other things that's going on and mm -hmm. think to yourself do the elders really care for the youth? Do they really care for the youth? Mm -hmm. My brother, we need to leave on that. And also, just before I go, don't forget to leave this video a like. In the comments below, make sure you leave suggestions of topics you would like to see me bring to the channel. Suggestions. Come on, come on. <laughs> and yeah, man, we've literally covered everything we needed to cover in this video. Other than that, it's been your boy with Scapone. And conscious eye open, can I be? We're gonna say peace. Come on.